In this video, I'm going to be diagnosing and fixing a very rough running engine complaint on this 99 Toyota Camry. And from what the owner was telling me, it sounds like it's misfiring. And also, Mucar is sponsoring today's video. They provided me with this interesting little scan tool and jump starter all in one. This is the Mucar JS502. It'll definitely be interesting to test it out and see how it does. And of course, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. So yeah, it's a 99 Camry. So we'll just plug it in. Looks like it's powering on. Key on, engine off. Go to diagnose. Yeah, it's taking a little time. Check engine light does look like it's on. Got three DTCs. Read codes. Random multiple misfire. Cylinder one misfire. Cylinder two. And same thing, just pending. Looks like cylinder one, cylinder two. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the hood and see what we got. So that's convenient. Just got a little four banger here. This is cylinder one, cylinder two, and it looks like we got some chew marks on the spark plug wires. And also another thing to note is that there's two coil packs and one and two are separate. So the fact that the misfire is on cylinder one and two is uh, quite diagnostically relevant. And I made a diagram of the spark plug wires and the coils. And so this engine basically uses uh, two coil packs, one coil pack for two spark plugs. And as you can see at the bottom, cylinder one and two are on separate coil packs. So it's very unlikely that we have a bad coil pack in this case. However, if you did have a number one and a number four misfire, uh, that doesn't necessarily mean it's that coil pack, but there is a more of a possibility. All right, real quick, let's go ahead and just start it up and confirm it is running rough. And it definitely is. I kind of want to just uh, let it run for a little bit and check it with the thermal camera and confirm it's one and two that's actually misfiring. The thing about these like late 90s vehicles, the misfire codes are not always correct. Okay, so it was a little hard to see with the heat shield in the way, but looking through there, you could tell that one and two uh, were definitely not firing. They were nice and cold. And I went ahead and took the spark plug wires out. And it's definitely both of these that have a little bit of damage. So I'm getting about 7,000 to 8,000 kilo ohms on each of these spark plug wires, which seems like it's okay. It seems to change a little bit if I move them around. But another thing is that it looks like it's all kind of burned around here. So I'm wondering if it's shorting out in the spark plug tube and jumping through here. So why else would it be burned like that? And this one, it's not as bad, but it's like one specific spot. Where it's all kind of burned right there. Cylinder number three, looks like it's got a little oil on it. So he probably needs a valve cover gasket someday. But you can see this one doesn't have any of that burning around the side. So I think we're just gonna grab some new spark plug wires. I mean, either way, you really don't want spark plug wires that are kind of chewed up like this. And we'll see if that fixes it. All right, we got all the spark plug cables replaced. Let's go ahead and just make sure it's not misfiring still. And unfortunately, it's still misfiring. Let's uh, see if both of those cylinders are still not misfiring, or if maybe we fixed one. And it looks like number two is starting to fire again, but we're still not getting number one. Okay, guys, so we did fix one of the misfires with replacing the 
wires. Cylinder two is now firing and getting hot, but cylinder one is still not. So what I'm gonna do is just pop the spark plugs out of here and then swap them around. Actually, I might pull this out when it's running and see if it grounds out. I hear it, so I think it's either gonna be a spark plug issue, a fuel issue, or a mechanical issue in the cylinder. Okay, so this is what the spark plug looks like on cylinder one. It's pretty bad, but uh, I don't want to just guess and go get a spark plug. I want to swap it over and be 100% sure it is the spark plug. Um, so I try to take this one out and it's kind of tight loosening in it. So I'm not even going to bother with that one because that cylinder is firing. Okay, I have one and three spark plugs swapped out and we'll check the thermal and see if number three is not firing okay so they're already a little bit warm but you can see number one over there it's pretty cool it is getting a little bit heat soaked um but if that one starts lighting up just as bright as the others then we'll know that it's that spark plug is 100% that spark plug. So yeah guys, it's that terrible looking spark plug that is causing the misfire. And I love that thermal imager. Okay, I got one spark plug. Just gotta swap out number three with that bad one. And ideally you'd wanna replace all of them, but uh, he just wants this as cheap as possible. Then you always thread your spark plugs in by hand first. Don't ever use power tools. And throw this in. And it shouldn't be misfiring. It's nice and smooth now. Just let it run for a little bit, burn off all that unburnt fuel. It's nice and smooth. I'd be like a vacuum leak or something around here too, making like a sucking noise. Oh yeah, he's definitely got a air leak right there. And there's no mass airflow sensor on this that I can tell. So it should run fine, but it's gonna be bypassing the filter and getting a lot of dirt in the engine. Nice and smooth. But let's go ahead and turn the engine off and I'll reset the check engine light. And let's go to a race. Hit OK. Key on. Engine off. Press OK. And it has been cleared. Start it up again. And the check engine light is gone. Not sure how long he was driving it um, when it was misfiring, but one thing you do wanna check if you do have misfires is you wanna smell the oil and make sure it doesn't smell like fuel. It's probably, either way, it's probably a good idea to do an oil change because all that unburned fuel can drop down into the oil pan through the cylinders fuel washes the cylinders but that's why you don't want to drive it and it looks like it's super low but we're also kind of like tilted over here on the curb so all the oil is probably in that side of the oil pan i don't smell fuel in the oil so i just put some zip ties around the spark plug wires because the original keepers uh were too small because these wires are a lot thicker but i'm just gonna take it for a quick little spin make sure it drives and runs good. And it looks 
like we got a confirmed fix. Well guys, this Toyota Camry is back in business for now. And of course, I recommend it that he replace the other three spark plugs as well and the intake boot and the valve cover gasket. I also learned that having a thermal imager is an amazing tool for misfire diagnosis. But anyways guys, I hope you found this video useful and I will catch you next time. Peace out.